on the land too. And I must have had part of this house built. And uh, I said, I'm going to call White Sands and tell Interviews with Jed Roberts, Roberts, Marilyn Strickland, and Alice Knight. 9 27, 1991. U.S. National Archives. Minute. I was just convinced one earth hour two. But listen to what she says. But I would like to ask you She'd all, like to ask you Is there any theory of anybody has had a theory that this is a light thing? I mean, like we send the searchlight. The searchlight doesn't make any sound. You throw a baseball through the air and it makes a sound. And I can't help but think that if it appeared to me that this thing was uh, not over 100 feet above, maybe not much, that much, I couldn't really tell. It was pitch dark. It was something I'd never seen before. And uh, has anybody ever seen it? the weather like Clear. Yeah. The interview is asked no dumb questions knows, no to the other lady, that. too. But this lady knows what she's hundreds thinking, and hundreds of but like she's not going to let them throw her off. They don't make sense. Now listen to what she says. She's going to reiterate. Everybody yeah, said that it could be a, uh, uh, something that's beamed from somewhere else. Your guess is Did you hear that? Is. This little lady, Marilyn Strickland, she said... Do you think this could be a light thing? This is, uh, you know, talking about aliens. She said, do you think it could be beamed from somewhere else? What a little genius, this little teeny little, little wee little, little, little old lady. And now we've got LED lights. You know what those are? They're light-emitting diodes. You know what? Someone told me what that means is it's singing rocks. They are not light that gives off. If you if you have any kind of film from anywhere in the past, you can see how light gives off radiate gives off a beautiful glow. But these don't. If you see the new film, new movies, the light is gone. It's just sort of this piercing, horrifying, ugly light. But it does not radiate. That's why it needs to be so strong in all the headlights because they need many, many, many of them and they'll, they're will they boring hole, holes through our eyes, I believe. But it's a, it's a light emitting diode. It means it is actually like singing rock. I don't know if it's silicone or what kind of rock it is. But see, real, real lights need some kind of a tungsten, you know, that, that little filament in there. But these things don't. So she's suggesting, are they coming in through light? Bingo. Like, we don't like, want this shit. We don't accept. We do not consent. Um, because you know what? They're not disclosing it. So how do people have a choice unless uh, they come out and be honest with some kind of deal the governments have made with parasitic aliens? And this guy is, is excellent, too. This guy who, who actually saw them and described them. And the freakiest, most disgusting thing is that they, they have suction cups in, on their fingertips. No wonder why on the, um, in the ancients they talk about the five-fingered people and then they have that round circular thing in the petroglyphs. Well, that's your fingerprint. And it's also what you, what creates hum humanity. But these aliens have little ugly suction cups. And God only knows what they do. And he said that their skulls are not made of bone. It's some kind of cartilage. So you guys who believe in ascended masters and who say that, oh, the future is going to be good because we'll be rubbery and you think that's good. No, it's because you're going to be part of this. You're going to be inhabited by these aliens who Dr. David Jacob says, we're all going to be together and you're going to like it and everyone will know its place. And he said, as a, as a researcher in love with the idea for decades, he says, I don't like it. He says there's something heebie-jeebie creepy about it. It's not good, these ascended masters, you stupid idiots. These are bad. They stink. They drink blood. And it's not good. And, and what else did they say? Um, I mean, they... they 
uh, it's parasitic. Yeah, so you got your cell phones now. That's their thing. They touch, all they do is they use their little suction hole fingertips and they have, they have these screens that they touch. Bring back fucking buttons. Bring back buttons. I want push buttons. I don't need no fucking screen. That's not hygienic. 